here. Hey, so what have you been working on? So I was implementing CI/CD pipeline for the new Learn to Cloud website on Azure Static Web Apps. Cool. So how does it work? Oh yeah, so the way I did it right now is I've created two static web apps, one for staging and one for production. Let me show you how it works here. So this is how the architecture is right now. I have two static web apps. One is for a production environment and then the other one is for staging. So the first static web app is this one, which is prod as you can see, and then this one is the second static web app, which handles all of our staging environment. This is where the learn to cloud.guide domain is pointed. This is the production website where the main domain is pointed to. And then I'll show you how from a contributor's perspective, it looks like when you create a PR. So you come into GitHub, right? You create your own branch or fork and you contribute to the learn to cloud website. It'll ask you to open a PR against the staging branch. So the branch that is set to default on learn to cloud GitHub is staging. You will generate a PR, which in turn will generate a preview right here. So you will get some random URL, which you can see your changes live on this random URL, which is still hosted by static web apps. Static web apps has a feature called previews. So as soon as a PR is open, it generates a preview for those changes. And then once those changes are approved, it goes to the staging environment or the staging website and you will see that live here. So the second static web app would be updated with those PRs that has been merged. After that, how those changes go to production is me or Gwen create a PR to merge these changes to main, which is also our production branch. GitHub action runs here after we create that merge request and those changes go live to our production environment. So this step can only be performed by me and Gwen. So you see, we have two static web apps and this is how I've implemented staging and PR previews and then how it gets deployed to production, which is the second static web app or the main learn to cloud website. So that is my architecture right now. Well, that can be improved. Can you show me? Let me show you. My CI CD implementation of the Learn to Cloud website. You've got our GitHub right here. And what we'll do is so this is our main branch. This is our static web app. For the main branch, only Gwen and Risham can still push. So no community contributors can directly push to the main branch. But for previews, so these are previews. What we'll do is we'll only accept previews for the staging branch. So which means you have your second branch here, which is called staging. Staging. Once a PR is generated, you will get a preview, of course, but it will be deployed to the same static web app instead of two. So all of this is on one static web app right here. So that eliminates the cost of hosting two static web apps, but you also get previews where the community members can still test their changes live. So this static web app will still point to the learn to cloud domain and previews, you will get some random URL, which you can check your changes on. So once this is merged to staging, Gwen and Risha can go ahead and merge it to the main branch. So let me also show you the actual YAML file that I've generated here. So I realized you had two YAML files or two GitHub actions, one for the staging static web app and one for the production staging. I've deleted the staging static web app and also the GitHub action and have modified this to support the architecture that I just showed you. You can see that on push to either main or staging, it will ask, it will run this action. So both staging and main is included, whereas earlier it was just main. And also any of the pull requests that are open for main or staging will give you previews. So we all know that for main, only Gwen and Reshub can push changes to or merge PRs to. No community member will be able to generate previews for the main branch, but they can still open PRs for the staging branch, which means they'll get previews, which was the initial goal is to have a staging environment where community members can come test their changes as they're contributing. And then rest of the action is the boilerplate that you get in the static web app. What I have added is a production branch setting. So there is an 
option to add what is your production branch. So in our case, it's main. I'll show you how it looks in the Azure portal. But yes, as I said, rest of the action is same boilerplate YAML file that you get when you create a static web app. Okay, so I am inside the Azure portal where I wanted to show you environments, the exact feature we are using for staging. You can see it has a production environment here that is set to the main branch. But when you see in preview environments, you have got staging as a preview environment and any of the PRs that are open against staging, you'll get a preview environment. One of the changes that I can show you really quick here, I created a PR a few minutes ago. So if I go to GitHub and we'll see the implementation live in action. So I'm on the GitHub. You can see I have a pull request open for CodeQL code scanning. And you can see what it does is it created a preview for me. So your stage site is ready. Visit this random URL that it generated so I can open this. Any of the changes that I applied, I can test them live on this environment now without the need of hosting it on my own. Think of it from the community contributors perspective. They can now give us the URL and say, hey, here is the preview environment. Let me know if it all looks good. And you can also see that the checks are passing, which makes my and Gwen's life easier for merging these PRs. That was the architecture that I wanted to show you. This is how it looks like in Azure. This is the actual YAML file and the changes I did to eliminate the second static web app. So I hope you learned something new today. I definitely hope that I taught R how to implement this with one static web app and you will hear from me soon. Until then, peace.